Welcome to Mini Tip Monday. Today, we're going to discuss moving our CNC machine through the software, through a keyboard, and then setting up a 360 controller to make our life just a little bit easier. Let's go. All right, so the first way to move our machine is in UC CNC. If we move our mouse to the left, we get this pop-up. And here we have all the controls we need to get things moving around. So some of these are going to use, some of these you won't. Real quick, let's get rid of the ones we don't need and just simplify this down just a little bit more. So down the bottom, uh, we will have our X, Y, and Z axis control. So this makes sense. Uh, we hit the button, it's going to move our Y in the positive direction. This will move our X in the positive direction. This is going to move our spindle up and down. Now it's going to move based on these two buttons up here. So continuous means if I hit Y, she's moving in the Y direction until I release Y. And if I do step, it's going to move it in that direction, this amount up here. So out of these four, the one that you do not need is that one. It is a tiny, tiny, tiny amount. It is ridiculous. Uh, ignore that one. So these are going to be your three step choices. These here, we can just ignore. They're for a controller. Forget about them. And our A axis, we can get rid of that as well because it's something that most people don't use. You can also control the machine via your keyboard. There's some predefined keys already set up. We can change them and we can add additional food like. So the predefined are going to be our arrows. So these up and down are going to be our Y axis moving us forward and back. Our left and right are going to be our X axis moving us left and right. And our page up, page down are going to be our Z axis moving it up and down. And the escape is cycle stop. Those six come predefined. You'll use them a lot but we can add more to this. So for example, I want my home button to home my machine. Uh, and to do that, we are going to open UC CNC, go up to configuration, go to IO trigger, and then hotkeys. And this is where we define what the keys do to what the machine does. Now everything's set in numbers, but when you hit the set button here, so I'm gonna do the second column just to keep things simple. I want this to home my machine. So if I hit set, these are all the things that we can do. And you can scroll through, you can look for what you want, or you can use the search feature to try to find it a little quicker. So I'm just going to type in home and hit search. And we have home our X axis, home our Y, home our Z, home our A, B, C, and home all. So that's what I want. So I'm going to select OK. And then key code is what key we're using. I'm just going to hit set and then I'm going to go clear and hit my home key and OK. So now apply and save. When I hit my home key on my keyboard, my machine's going to home. And we can do that for anything in this list. So almost everything that you can do here, we can set a keyboard shortcut for. Once we have our keyboard shortcut set to program a 360 controller. Now, I love having a 360 controller to move my machine around. I find it a lot more convenient than a keyboard. It is the best $30 upgrade I've ever spent on a machine. We don't need anything special. It doesn't have to be super high end. Um, any controller will work to the best of my knowledge. So to set one of these up, what we need, one more additional piece of software. And that piece of software is basically going to interpret the button presses to whatever key commands we want. The piece of software I have found that works best for me is joy to key You can find it at joy 2 I'm not affiliated with them in any way. It's just really easy software to use. Free to try, $7 to register it. There's other software out there. Leave a comment below if you find software that you like better. Uh, but this is currently what I'm using. After opening Joy to Key, uh, we will see this screen. And if I hit buttons, they will turn yellow. All right, so let's start with the top joystick. I want this to move our gantry. So joystick down, uh, we know was keyboard down before. So I'm just going to come over to joystick down here and select this, right click 
edit this button assignment. I'm going to get a pop-up and I'm going to hit keyboard down and OK. So now that's our keyboard down. Same thing with this one. Right click, edit button assignment, going to hit keyboard up. I'm good. Right click, edit, keyboard to the right. OK. And then right click, edit, and keyboard left. So now this joystick, as I press these buttons, the computer views it as up, left, right, down. UCCNC interprets that as move our machine. If I want our X button to be go to home, uh, when I hit this, nothing is happening. So I'm going to scroll down and just look for the one that turns yellow. There we go. So same thing, right click, edit, and I'm going to hit my home button. And there you go. It's as simple as this. So now I can use my 360 controller to, to move my CNC around. Uh, we can set this up however you'd like. I will leave a link to the configuration that I like down below uh, with a little note to why I have things set up that way. Feel free to import that and modify it however you'd like. Hopefully this helps some of you guys. See you next week.